Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon here with another episode of Naruto, episode number 23, moving on from the last episode, where we saw a little bit of a fight between Sasuke and Rock Lee. Now a few of you weren't uh, particularly enthused with the fact that I didn't like Rock Lee, and it's not that I didn't like him, it's just I found him a bit creepy, you know? He, he's He's a bit odd, you know, in the way that he's kind of idolized his sensei to the point of imitation <clears throat> you know it's very odd um but as some of you said i will come to regret that later i mean i'm assuming he's going to be involved in storylines later on and he might get a little bit better also with the voice thing um you know again thank you in the comments for just explaining it. it's a little bit of a take on bruce lee which i understand and the very <laughs> I mean, you have to admit, if you go back and watch some of those old ninja movies, the dubbing on them is very monotone and straightforward. Um, so I can understand from that point of view where it comes from. Um, also, a big thank thank you to those of you who took the time to explain the difference between ninjutsu, genjutsu, etc. Um, you know, one is an illusionary uh, type of jutsu, the other is, you know, more offensive. Um, so I do appreciate that. And like I said in my video celebrating the thousand subscribers, which we hit yesterday, by the way. So a big thank you again to everyone for supporting the channel, helping us get to a thousand subscribers. Um, you guys have been really, really positive and really helpful in the comments, and I really do appreciate that. Um, but... As far as what's going to happen next is concerned, I am not sure. Um, we do have a little bit of a rivalry now established between, you know, uh, the free um, sort of Ganin that we we are so familiar with now, uh, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, um, and quite a number of other people. Um, it seems like with each passing episode, the more and more people who they are sort of alienating themselves to, whether it be rightful or not. Um, you know, Rockley is one of them. Uh, you've got Gara of the desert, uh, who has made a little bit of a, hmm, a rival with Sasuke, I guess. Um, and you know, the others who were sort of alongside him. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how these tune and exams go. Um, provided that they actually sign up in time because time was running out. Uh, from what I remember. But I'm going to assume that they're going to get signed up in time. And we're going to start to see some of the tuning exams take place now. Um, so I've got my pen at the ready. I've got my notes ready to go. So we are going to jump into this. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters. Frank Tremel, Karen Abel, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Irish Cal, Rich Affer, Isabel Grow, louis and Mr. Greg89. So... Let us jump in and see what happens. Glad you oh. Sakura, for your sake and the others. Huh? Oh, what? Now, you can all formally register for the tuning exam. <clears throat> Why? What do you mean? You see, only groups of three are allowed to apply for and take the exam. Oh. That's the way it's always been. That wasn't explained before. Say, you said the decision to take the exam was up to the individual. <laughs> I didn't want you feeling obliged to participate because of any feelings you might have for Sasuke or Naruto. Uh -huh. I wanted you to come to a decision of your own free will. I can appreciate that, even if it is a bit messed up. I'm proud of you. Couldn't ask for a better team. Not hundred percent sure about that, but Very inspirational music. I guess we're not alone. Nope. That is a lot of people. From many different lands. Come on. You can do this, Sakura. What? She's got the same arm coverings as he has. Oh, we're getting a reunion. Eno. 
Just because she's got the same stupid thing for Sasuke that Sakura's got. Yeah. Well, what do you know? It looks like the whole gang's back together. You have an animal on your head. Hi, Haruto. Mm -hmm. She's the girl that likes him. Yeah. Weirdo. With a big overcoat. You guys too, huh? And everyone's here for this stupid thing. Yep, here we all are. So they're the nine from the Hidden Leaf Village. She really likes Naruto. The dog is alive. You really talking about eating a dog? <clears throat> um. Thought maybe you hadn't seen it. Huh? Oh no, he likes Why bugs. He He's the bug guy. guy. Weirdo hey, bug guy. But really, Kabuto. You've made quite an impression. Gray. Had. Boy. Yeah, they 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 are not looking very friendly. So these are all Genin who are trying to become children. See those guys? Kabuto. Is that your name? Isn't Kabuto a Pokemon? This isn't the first time you've taken the exam? No, it's my seventh. Huh? Seventh? Oh no. I'm held twice a year, so this will be my fourth year. He's failed every time. Veteran. If the balance isn't maintained, one nation could wind up with many more shinobi than its yeah. neighbors, and it might be tempted to attack them. Then we have a fire nation situation. Hey, that rhymed. I suppose. You have someone special in mind? Rockley. <laughs> well, I can't promise my information. Oh, Gara. Perfect. But I've got something on just about everyone. Looks like he's about a year older than you guys. Mission experience, 11 C ranks, and 20 D ranks. Mm -hmm. His squad leader is Guy. In the last 12 months, Guy Sensei. Who has radically improved, but his other skills are pretty shaky. Last year, he got a lot of attention as a Genin, but for some reason, he chose not to participate in the Chunin exam. Hmm. This will be his first time as a candidate, same as you guys. Why didn't he do it last year? His teammates are 10, 10, and... I thought they weren't allowed to do B-rank missions. Maybe it's just the way they do it in that land. Rain, grass, waterfall, sound. Hang on. From the looks of it, they've all sent exceptionally skilled candidates. Why is Leaf red? In the four years I've been coming, I've never seen a crop of candidates with as much potential as this bunch. Uh oh. Is there a limited number of people who can pass, or can anyone pass? That's something I wonder. Oh. Guy Sensei. Uh, he held them back. You sure it's not just because you know your guys don't stand a chance against mine? <laughs> True rivals indeed. No big deal. It's okay to be a little scared. I can handle it. But it'd be don't okay cave under the pressure. I didn't have to watch Naruto falling apart right in front of me. <laughs> I mean, nothing usually gets to him. Oh, Face down Zabuza and Haku, no issues, but now it's like... Hey, don't worry, or is it excitement? It's excitement's not fear. My name is Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm gonna beat every one of you. Believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just put a big target on their backs. That's the same kid as before, isn't it? If you insult the sound shinobi, you better be ready for the consequences. Hmm. That's interesting. You never really think of sound as a an element or a bit, uh, can you say a bit that of nature. Did quite catch it. 
You moron. <laughs> Are you trying to get everybody in the place to hate our guts or what? Oh, no. Oh. They're from the village hidden in the sound. Yeah. I'm, I'm expecting them to be silence. Oh. Did he use sound waves? How did that happen? Sound waves. Look at him acting like it was nothing. Real tough guy. Oh, did he throw off his balance? Hey Lee, what was going on with that attack? There was more to it than just speed. Yeah. Some kind of trick. Oh. All right, you baby face degenerates. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher is in class. Who's it going to be? It's all of them. It's time to begin. I'm E.B. Key Marino, your proctor. And from this moment, E.B. Key. Your worst enemy. Okay. He looks tough. Okay, there were a lot of new characters introduced. There were at least reintroduced. Um, I have taken more notes for this one episode than any other show, any other episode of any other show that I've been watching in the last few weeks. Um, okay, so, obviously the stage has been set. We know that there are nine rookie Genin who are taking on this exam for the first time. And as you've seen, there are some Genin who have tried this a lot. They've been at it for years with no success. So I'm interested in whether this is going to be one of those situations where they, I don't really like using this word, but they basically Mary Sue it and, and they prove to everyone that they're better and they're special and they make it first time around uh, without any real issues or whether it's one of those times where they're going to sort of supplant our expectations uh, or subvert, so, sorry, our expectations and have them, you know, fail. And just show truly how, you know, whilst they are talented for rookies, they're kind of out of their depth for uh, being tuning. Um, but there's nine of them. So I don't expect any, I mean, certainly none of the other six that we met. Toji, don't see a chance for him. Um, Sinamaru, or Mara, I think. I'm just going to use the short names. Mara, I don't really see him making it. Eno, the girl, who's a rival with Sakura, maybe, maybe she'll make it. Um, Erita, uh, er Eruta, the one who likes Naruto, maybe, I'm not sure. Kiba, I think his dog's going to get in the way. I mean, why has he got a dog on his head? That's just dangerous, you know? I mean, what if the dog gets injured? Shino, who is the, the bug guy. I've got written down here, weirdo bug guy. Um, maybe he'll make it. There's definitely something more to him than than leads, than, you know, we've been led to believe. Um, and Kabuto, who, you know, obviously there's been given a bit of focus to in this episode. Um, it's interesting that he seems to be very much like a knowledge-based fighter, someone who uh, probably prefers strategy over, you know, just raw strength. Um, and he's been trying this for now four years. Um, the attack that was made on him by the people from the Hidden Sound Village, which is an interesting take on a new village. Um, you know, you think most are related to the elements. Leaf, rain, fire, sea, earth, you know, those kinds of things. This is the first one that we've really seen that's related to something slightly different. Sound Village. And it makes me think that the attack that they did on Kabuto was more um, sound-based. So it didn't hit him, but maybe they used sound waves to knock his um, his balance off. You know, because we saw his glasses crack, um, which indicates there was some kind of a sonic effect. Um, and so I could imagine maybe the eardrums have gone all oopsie-doozy and... Anyone who's probably ever had an ear infection or anything to do with their ears being off kilter, um, you know that it can mess with your balance quite badly. 
So I think that's what's happened there. Um, we also now have met um, Etiki, Etiki, who is the the drill instructor. It looks like he's got a big scar down one eye, and um, he is going to put them through the paces. He's going to be their worst enemy, as he said, and he definitely looks like one of those tough drill sergeant type characters. So I don't think they're going to get any leeway from him whatsoever. Um, one of the interesting things that I noted during that was obviously the conversation about how all of the um, shonen are, are regulated so that one land doesn't get more powerful than another. Obviously, my thoughts go immediately to Avatar The Last Airbender, where, you know, you have someone like the Fire Nation who, um, under the guise of peace, build up their forces, they attack and invade the other lands, and um, you have a war on um, that, you know, they had to deal with there, and, and this is basically trying to prevent that. The only thing that I found weird was that on the map, what I assumed at first was the land of, like, fire or something, was actually where the Hidden Leaf Village was. Um, the colours didn't quite match up to the elements, I guess. Um, but it makes sense because that had the most amount of Genin and Shonin in it because they're all they're all there at the moment. Um, but yeah, this episode served as more of a setup, um, more of a get-to-know-the-characters type of episode um, so that, you know, going forward, as we move into now the actual trials themselves... We know more about those people. We've set up the established rivalries. Um, Naruto has, as always, made himself known to everybody. Um, and we can just jump into, you know, the, the thick of the trials now, which is something that I am looking forward to see how we get on. Honestly, I don't think they're going to do it first time around. I think we still have a lot to learn. I think we still have a lot to do in terms of seeing them do c and d class missions um and i think it would be good to give them something to work towards rather than just letting them become um tuning straight away have them fail first time around and let them you know use that as motivation to get to the next one to go on some other missions to learn and then second time around you know they put they put people in their place but we'll see Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next episode.